Hello Darts Nuts and welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm just going to have a quick look at a new darts magazine that came out. This came out just before Christmas and it's a bi-monthly magazine and it's created by the son of Dave Lannan, uh, Phil Lannan and also his son is one of the photographers on the magazine. So it's got some uh, good pedigree behind it but we'll have a close look at it. And it retails for £6 and like I said this is a bi-monthly magazine so the second issue should be coming out fairly soon. So let's have a look at it. So I'm just going to have a quick look at the magazine. As you can see it's a nice glossy magazine. All nice high quality print and really nice high quality pictures in the magazine. You got an editorial there by Phil Lennon. And I think his son Taylor is one of the photographers who does many of the pictures. I'm not going to read every article but just give you a quick look, look through it. So you got one there on Peter Wright and obviously when this was done they didn't know he was going to be the winner of the World Championships so well done to Peter. And it's kind of a magazine where you're getting a little bit of a behind the scenes look and thoughts from the players. So a little bit different than your run of the mill a kind of match reporting type of format so that kind of style where it's just reporting on matches and giving you scores I think that's kind of pointless in a magazine because online it's almost instant so you don't really need to read about stuff like that well, I suppose it's okay if you like to have a record of things like but this is a, a kind of a format where you probably wouldn't get to hear some of this behind the scenes stuff and see some of it and this was quite interesting. Rob Cross has uh, spent his money buying a digger. <laughs> As you do. It would have been cheaper just to go to a digger well than have a go on the diggers there. Silly boy. But <laughs> he's happy, as you can see. <laughs> and I don't know if these people are going to be writing regularly for the magazine. But if they are, then that's great. So you'll have uh, regular, regular articles by people involved within darts. You've got Polly James, Matthew Porter, and you've got some rapid fire quick Q&A with Ricky Evans. Uh, it would be nice if they did something like that, but add questions from the fans. Maybe, yeah, I don't know, it hasn't said if that's from the fans, but things like that. To get the fans involved would be good. So you got Dan Dawson and Wayne Mardle blowing his darts. I've seen him doing that at the Target launch a few years ago. He aimed at the double ten and he hit it. Pretty amazing to see. And obviously MVG, it says OMG, MVG, 50 TV titles and counting. Well, he didn't get that number four world championship. But never mind, I'm sure he'll get more. You got an article on Dave Clark, nice guy. And one on the super kid, Leighton Bennett. And it says there he's been banned from having a girlfriend on the eve of his biggest date on the hockey. <laughs> Poor kid. Well, all the magazine is laid out professionally, high quality print, easy to read, a super glossy. Just quality pictures, but uh, it is bi-monthly. Would have been nice to have a monthly magazine, but there you go. Maybe that might happen in the future if it takes off. Um, it would be nice to see um, some articles to do with the fans, like uh, fan letters and Q and A, and maybe something to do with history of darts. I wouldn't mind seeing something like that. But as it is. It's a kind of a behind the scenes look, so I'm sure you'll find something interesting in, in it. But like I say, I'm just going through it quickly just to give you a, a taster. But there you go. So this is the number one issue. Number two should be out soon, I should imagine. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. And hopefully the magazine will go from strength to strength. It's got a good pedigree of people behind it, so I'm hopeful that's going to happen. So, 
that's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it.